When we're starting in, we're looking at logs in the winter time. We make sure that the sap hasn't started flowing and we have quite a few of them on the property here. It doesn't take that many trees to make a, a few sets of skis. As far as the dream goes, it, it, I didn't end up, it wasn't really a dream, it just sort of happened. It was an accident. I was teaching woodwork and one of the kids wanted to make some skis as a year long project. The kid actually transferred out of the course, but I'd already bought a whole bunch of stuff and I would make a few pairs of skis and it, it kind of kind of ballooned from there. I told myself that I wasn't going to do it as a business. I just didn't want to get carried away, but I, I tend to get carried away. It's my nature a little bit. I think the advantage of being small is that you can control stuff a little bit better than you can in a large manufacturing facility. And there are things that just make the skis better. Like we arrange the wood in the cores and I look at every single piece and I glue all the blocks together and then we saw the blocks apart and you have match skis left and right with all the crowns and grain going in the appropriate direction. It makes the skis better. Skiing's been my passion since I was a kid in Winnipeg. I needed to race to the mountains. My background as a woodworker, you know, I, I started here in town when I was like young, ski bombing, building houses, working for awesome carpenters then and learning as much as I could. Then we've got this fancy tooling, which I guess lots of folks have now, but it's kind of fancy for us. You know, it's an evolution. You start out with an idea and you pursue it until you see its weaknesses and you try and improve on those. My kids actually spend a bit of time in the ski shop, come home after school and make a pair of skis and go do their homework, which is really damn cool. Now I've been doing it for a while. Skiing on my own skis is awesome, but the coolest thing is seeing all the pairs and the lift lines or people that have bought them and send pictures to me with great big grins. I know I've touched every pair of those. you're out there seeing other people rip and have a good time on them, that's the best. I don't really ever want to be a major manufacturer. I always want to do the manufacturing here. I, I like the hands-on stuff. I'm a little bit of a control freak. I like to constantly see the new problems that come up and try and solve them. Uh, you know, as I get older, my kids can roll into that if they choose to, and that would be just need to see where that might go. Instinct Skis is, is actually growing a little bit. We're starting to become uh, uh, we're not becoming anything. We're just a small little company. Um, Instinct Skis is uh, just a, a passion project that's growing just a little bit past that.